Look how easy that turns in the frame. You can even hear the juice, listen. Yeah, buddy, here come the juice. Here come the juice. Yeah, man. Greetings, YouTube. So we've got the frame here that I've started making. And the next step is to modify these things, which were off the old smart drive wind turbine, which never really worked out, but uh, could have been cool, but it wasn't. Anyway, these have way too much weld on them, so I need to slice all that off. And there, so that then I'll be chopping this off square. And yes, jolly good. Let's crack on. Just need to go get my safety equipment. Right, look, there's still some left. That was a hell of a chunk. Anyway, it's halfway there. Cup of tea time. Sweet! This is a perfect job for my prototype sanding machine. So let's get that set up. All right, let's turn it on. Start at power level one. that for an hour and then we'll come back and see how clean it is. Yeah, when that's finished we're going to give this bit a clean up. Greetings YouTube, it's now Monday. I just want to show you how these things came out of the prototype sanding device. So now I just need to give them a quick clean up first before we get on to the next bit. That isn't exactly in the right place at the minute, as in it's going to be either down, likely to be de right down the front. Uh, I haven't decided which, with regards to the frame, which bit is the front or the back yet, it's irrelevant. What I, what I need to do is I need to work out how this is going to be attached to the frame uh, so that it moves and it all stays together before these two things were separate, but I want them to be one thing. So the reason I've got it here and I've got it nice and flat is so I can work out exactly how far we need to make that slot on both sides and this is going to be upside down uh, yeah so anyway I'm still I'm still working a few things out but mainly I have to work I have to center this thing and find the slot there but before I center it I need to work out how I'm going to join it so I'll think about that and be back in a minute. I'm interested in having it this way, but I don't think it'll work. Uh, if you look, this directly takes up less room in the frame. Don't forget that the bolt's going to be situated 
uh, actually inside there. Really, I've got to do the hardest job first, which is cut the slots to the right depth. I want it so that when it's in the frame, that the bottom is level. So if I want to take this out, there's no fanning about, basically. The, the main weight is touching the floor along with these, so all will become clear. So I'm going to get set up to cut the channels. So you can see what I mean there. I've got that the slot orientated the right way, so I'm going to mark there, and that's how far we need to cut down. That's saying 10 mil. That's how wide we need the slot. I think I'm going to tack weld them together before I do the cutting, then they'll be as close to as symmetrical as they can be. Thank you. You can see these plates are slightly different sizes. What I'm, I'm going to weld them together, then I'm going to drill a 10mm hole uh, right in the right place, and then that gives me something to aim for with the grinder. Sweet. I just need to give it a quick clean up here and on the other side so I can mark up properly. Now I need to figure out a way of connecting this bit to the frame and it will involve it will likely involve welding a strip of metal along there and then because this is a little bit you can see there's a bit of movement there but that once this can't move like that that's not a problem anymore neither there neither 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 there, my friends. But that is cool to see it mounted like that. And it's about at the right height because it will just turn, but that's fine. So yeah, I'm going to get thinking about how to attach this onto this. Sweet. That's pretty cool because I think that's just about fully tight and we've just got enough room for the cables. So. Oh, that feels lovely. Look how easy that turns in the frame. You can even hear the juice, listen. Yeah, buddy, here come the juice. Here come the juice. Yeah, man. That is sweet. That feels super solid like that with the bolt on one bit. But we still have to do something to stop it falling out. 
because what I've done is I've not got these frame adjustment things here. I don't have another bolt for this. I'm going to have to order one. I still have the option, I guess, to instead of having a slot to use a circle and go all the way up here. You can see we don't have a lot of room for joining this together, but I think for the sake of the project, it's got to be done in some way. It's a cliche, but it's looking very good, my friends. Sweet. So yeah, that's all for now, but I'm going to crack on as well as I can in the sunshine. And this is looking very good. Juice by hand. So fundamentally, this is a good design. It probably has its drawbacks, but it is going to be sweet, my friends. That's filled me with joy that that feels so easy to turn.